Okay, so we've come to the final part to uh, solder up on our quad and probably the most scariest part to solder for everybody, at least it was for me the first time I did. And that's this tiny little board right here. Um, this thing right here is just tiny, tiny solder, little mounts. And there, there is a little bit of a trick to it. And we'll talk about that and we'll show you some close-ups of it while I'm soldering. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have your quad ready like this one is and uh, you're going to be placed in here to see exactly where you want to line up the pins because you have two sets of pins here. Uh, you have either uh, straight up pins or you have angled pins here. And the angled pins are the ones that I'm going to use and uh, these pins once they're, once they're on the board this is where your ESC is going to plug into. Now these particular pins, um, they, they can go any direction. They can go facing outside, they can go facing inside, they can go on the bottom of the board uh, facing inside, which is generally the way that I put it. Because uh, my board will be sitting in there this way, that way all the heat can come off the uh, part that's all, uh, that has all of the heat creating uh, pieces on it. Uh, nothing's overlapping or on top of it, and I place this on the bottom where it's out of the way. Now you're also going to have another set of pins that are going to go on the outside uh, and this is going to be for your radio system coming in. These are for your ESC, these are for your radio system. So once you decide which way the pins are going to go, you decide which way you want the board to line up on the quad, uh, which this way I'm going to have it this way, I'm going to have my pins go towards the inside so that all of my ESCs can plug in right underneath this board here and all the wires stay right there and I'm going to have these pins coming towards the outside back here, which where my receiver is, which can plug right in there. So that should make it good. And I also have access to my port to program my board here right on the side. Uh, so that makes it much easier. The front of the board's actually here. So basically in the program, I'll just tell the, tell the uh, program that the board is at uh, a 90 degree angle. So it'll, it'll make all the corrections. All right, so let's, uh, let's start soldering up this board here. Now, like I said, the first thing you want to do is establish which direction you're going to have this. I'm going to use some of this card here, and I'm going to slide this right in here just to get to make sure that this is off of the surface and that nothing's, um, you know, nothing's pressed up against the board here. So when I solder this, it doesn't, it's it's not going to be too hard to push the pins in. So it. once I have that in there, and let me uh, let me just fold this on over to make it easier. There we go, and make sure that those are all in there. So, and I'll just I'll just clamp this in my little soldering jig here. All right, now, the first thing I recommend is that you um, solder up one side of the board, uh, one corner, and then you can come and solder the other corner. So, once you decide what corners you want to solder up, uh, go ahead and get a little bit of solder. It doesn't take much on this. And if you have an actual pinpoint that you can put in there, uh, that is a little bit better. Now I'm going to take my glasses off for this because i got to be able to see up close here. Uh, this is truly, truly small. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically putting a drop down right on that board and right on that one pin and then Okay, so I, I got my board set up uh, so that I'm all set to go now. And I got this one far pin, which is diagonal from the first pin that I soldered up, all ready to go. I'm going to put a little bit of clean solder right on here to help dissipate or transfer the heat quicker. And boom, right on there. I got a nice little bead there. And that's going to hold this board in place now. Now I can just go around and solder on all the rest of the boards and all the rest of the pins throughout this area here. Okay, so the technique is to actually place solder on the tip of the iron here. And uh, what you can do is touch the very tip of it right on the, the part that you want the solder to go to and just feed enough solder on there so that a small drop runs down and you sort of get the hang of it pretty quick. Uh, you don't want to get too carried away with solder because obviously it will come, you know, it'll, it'll create quite a bead on that board. But right there we got, we got very good solder joints and we'll use our close-up camera here to show you 
the solder joints. Oops, you show you the solder joints here. Side is all of our pins right there. So once you have that board soldered, uh, then the next uh, that part of the board soldered, I should say. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to place these pins. Now these pins actually go on top of the board or go on the side of the board and they overlap. Um, they actually overlap onto the other side there. And um, these are sort of difficult ones to do because you, you sort of want them to be on the board correctly. So uh, they, they tend to want to fall down. You want to have them come out as straight as possible. Okay, so what I've done here is I've, I've taken this plug and this is the second plug that I'm going to put in, or solder in, and it's going on this side of the board. It's going on the edge of the board here. And this is going to actually go on the side of the board right here like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our helping hand here and uh, again, like I said in the other video, I've had this thing for quite some time but I'm going to place it where I want this to go on and um, try and get it so it's coming out of there pretty square which it looks like it is just about doing that right about now Okay, so there you are. Uh, we have these on here. I can pull this off now, and I have my pin on this side, which is lining up pretty good. You know, if they they might warp a little bit and stuff because of the heat, but you can always adjust that. And I have these pins which come out in the bottom. So now, when I place this back on my quad here. Uh, these are going to work out perfect. All of my ESCs are going to come out of the bottom here, which these can plug into, and this is the ports for that. Uh, my receiver is going to come out of the back here, be able to plug it right in here, and I'll be able to do all of my computer work on that side, which makes it much, much easier um, to you know program and do everything once the quad's all together rather than have it in the back. So. That's all there is to doing it. Um, the first board that you do, you might have some issues with it. It's, it's difficult at first, but uh, it is something that's relatively easy to learn. Uh, they tend to, the solder tends to beat up on the, on the spots where it's supposed to and not go into the spots where it's not supposed to. Unless you get a large amount of solder on there, uh, it beads up pretty good. And I was looking at these and these all look really good. So uh, that shouldn't be an issue. May have one other um, spot to solder up, maybe one little plug for the video. But other than that, everything is set to go. And as you can see, it's not all that difficult. So um, good luck with your build.